Austin bursting at the seams with critical safety inspections. We've discovered the city is unable to keep pace with development. Take electrical inspections. Construction can't move forward. And you can't move in until one is done. At last check, the city's list of backlogged electrical inspections was close to 500 and counting. KXAN investigator Kylie McGivern discovered it's taking days, weeks, even months in extreme cases. It's a problem costing homeowners a lot of money. Plumbing is obviously done. This is Christy Martin's dream home. Have our master bath, everything's ready to go, we're ready to hang clothes in our closet. Um, everything is done. If only she could move in. Were it not for this final piece of paper, we could be living in this house right now. The holdup hinges on a final city electrical inspection. We're just so excited and have been, um, and it's just been frustrating to have this delay of, you know, two to three months. Are you about ready to lose your mind? It's, it's, it's been crazy. Within the last five years, nearly 70% more residential electrical inspections. Lots of money down the drain because of the uncertainty. Let's step in the kitchen here. The longer a project takes, the more it ultimately costs yeah. homeowners. Probably a good 10 to 15,000, I'd say, conservatively. And you can see there's very specific requirements in each of these that we have to fill. More than a dozen contractors we called told us it's a big problem. It is not acceptable. James Pace with Efficient AC Electric and Plumbing says in his 20 plus years of experience, he's never seen delays this bad. Because it costs me time and a lot of money and a lot of effort to ensure that my inspections are getting done. Yeah, let's look at your sub panel here. And if you want to have somebody on site when the inspector is there, it's almost impossible. And if you have to reschedule, you go back to the end of the list. Correct. You have another five day wait after you fail the first inspection. The corner apartment we're gonna look at. So what's the issue? The city says it easily needs 20 inspectors. Right now the budget only covers a dozen and they're struggling to fill those positions after recent retirements and people moving departments. All right, let's uh, take a look at this ceiling. You got a plug outside for me, I see it, thank you. That's a fire hazard. So we got a couple of violations over there right now with the number of calls coming in over 200 a day sometimes even higher than that. So our inspectors are just overwhelmed with what we have. You're not meeting that inch and a quarter clearance that I'm looking for. Holding jobs up is what hurts everybody. The production, the construction industry, you're holding all the other trades up. Do you think being on standby for five plus days is reasonable? No, it's not. Um, I, I completely understand that it's, it's unreasonable. In order to be an electrical inspector in the city of Austin, you have to be a master electrician. Building official Jose Roig says Austin requires applicants to have that advanced training for at least two years. This cable's got a bushing on it. Thing is, with that level of experience, he says, people typically have their own company and earn three to four times what the city pays. And that master electrician's license, is that something that other cities, states typically require? Uh, typically, no. They, they allow... Um, electrical inspections to be performed by uh, a person that is certified as an electrical inspector. And so why is it that we have that standard? Uh, it's been there for many, many years. Uh, it's been something that our electrical board has requested to be there. Yeah, yeah. Here's some more triple. In order to improve the quality of the inspectors to see if we can actually uh, adjust that requirement. Another option. Can we contract with a third party company to do some of the inspections? But my ultimate goal is uh, when you schedule an inspection, I say, you know what, we're going to be there this day. Don't wait for us five days. You'd think that the city could figure this out. We'll be at the city's electric board meeting tomorrow where they plan to address the need for more electrical inspectors and review how long it's taking to get the work done. This is a board that makes recommendations to city council, which is currently weighing the needs for next year's budget. Once again, Development Services says it plans to come forward and ask for more positions. Kylie McGivern, KXAN Investigates. Back to you. Kylie, thank you. After we started investigating, the city posted an online list of top 10 tips for a successful inspection for homeowners. Those include ensuring the project address is posted visibly at the site and proper access is available for the inspection. It's a problem when they can't find the address or the gate is locked. Also, make sure a worker is available to make corrections to minor problems during the inspection. 
It could keep you from going to the bottom of the list if you can make some quick fixes. We have a link to the full list online in this story in the investigative section of KXAN.com right now.